ok so now do uh, to do the structural simulation so let us connect the structural module of the ANSYS workbench with the solution so we have to drop it ahead so it will automatically connect the study of fluent to the static structure so let us do the meshing and all of the other components uh, in uh, in this structural simulation we got all of the different like the meshing this solver setting and the result section all in a, uh, under one tree so i can go there so first of all i forget one thing so we have to go here so we have to use the epoxy carbon So, where is it? Okay, add this and now let us compare to our simulation and run it again. this I have to suppress this body also suppress this body so we only need the main structural body where we have to perform the analysis so before going let us change the material from structural steel to epoxy carbon so now let us do the meshing and for that I want to apply the here and also sizing over there over 3 mm and sizing over here of Five mm is fine. Okay, so let's generate the mesh and see. So if we see the okay, let me apply the overall sizing of 20 mm so it's better now so i think 8 mm overall size is fine for the simulation so overall number of elements is 23000 so which is okay and also if you see there there is a little bit of problem over there so let's apply the edge sizing here of 1 mm and generate it again So it seems still there is a problem over this surface. So let us apply the sizing over this surface and this surface and let us bring the size of the face to 4 mm. So now the mesh is better. So if we see the whole mesh it look fine so now this next step is to provide the boundary condition so first of all let's fix the bottom edge sorry bottom face of the <coughs> gladeless turbine which is fixed with the ground so for the lot let's import the pressure 
not from the fluid st structural simulation where that we have done already so which is applied over all the phases as aspect sorry uh, okay so we have to exclude this phase so it is applied on six phases which is fine so now it's fine now let me define total deformation as a result i want strain maximum principal stresses and equivalent stresses also i want to know the maximum uh, sorry i want to know the uh, fos factor of safety so which come there okay so all fine let's run the simulation it will take one minute So it give an error. Okay. So let's delete it because the FOS is not defined for this component. So it's fine. All. So let's no wireframe. So I can see easily the deformation. So maximum deformation is one eighty eight mm. And the maximum strain occur at this stage near the ground, and also maximum stress occur lower area where we can see. So it's all fine. So that is for the structural simulation part. So all is that you can run the simulation by your own.